Welcome along to part two for Fur Elise by Beethoven. I am absolutely chuffed with the response that you guys have given me. I asked for 100 likes and I think nearly it's nearly at 200 likes, so it's doubled that. And so obviously the video, you guys have really enjoyed it and uh, you're looking forward to some more. So I'm gonna uh, teach you now um, some more of the song. It is, I'm sorry to disappoint you, it is gonna be a three-parter lesson. Main reason being that I want to go into detail and I wanna take my time with each part, okay? So definitely the next part, the third video, which I will do soon, um, will be the last part of the whole song. But this second part is just taking you through some slightly more challenging parts that crop up in the song. So if this video gets 50 or more likes, okay, I'm gonna lower it slightly because it is a second part video and sometimes they get less. So if it gets 50 or more likes, then I'll make the third part which then finishes off the song. Let's have a look at the left hand and get learning the rest. Okay, so don't forget that the tab is there in the description that Jag Deep uh, has done. Um, I'd like you to call that up so you do have that along. And we're gonna be starting, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you where we left off, so we got a nice seamless join from video one into video two. And we're gonna be starting at the end of bar 26. Um, so we're going to be here. This is something I actually taught you in the last video. So this is where we left off. We learned this part. into this part. Okay, and then we're going into, now, uh, into bar 31, uh, 32, actually the end of bar 31. So we've already learnt this. So hopefully you can follow that along. All the same. And then you'll see that at the um, end of bar 40, we're gonna be pinching um, an A minor. And then you can see that Jadzeep has done this sort of thing. So we're doing a bar chord and then to change it to this, and then finally to this, okay? I personally, I'm, by the way, I'm learning this song with you, all right? So I'm not gonna be able to play this full speed. I'm not gonna say that I can. I'm working on it, and I really enjoy it. I've been working on it daily uh, ever since the first video. I personally don't like putting that part in there. What I prefer to do is pinching, so, and then thumb, thumb index on an A minor chord. So this is what, where Jack D finishes off, then I like prefer to do that. Then moving down into um, bar 41, we've got this. So one first fret and second fret on the B and G string, thumb coming over the, over the top to hold down the first fret on the thickest string. And I want you to pinch that, so thumb, index and middle. Then playing index, then ring finger spare, so we're going to put that on the third fret on the D string. So we go, and then we're going to play the index again. So it's pinch, index, thumb, index, change to a bar, let go with the thumb, pinch that with the middle and ring, and you can leave that two there, and then lift it up to an open string. Okay, so I'll do that bar for you. Again, so it's okay. I just missed the second fret, but hopefully, you get the idea there. I'll do it one more time. Okay, we're then going to go to a bar chord on the third fret, and I'd like you to bar the bottom four strings with the index finger. You should know how to do bar chords if you're doing this sort of style of um, lesson because it is much more intermediate. Ring finger on the fifth fret on the B to get that three and five on the pinch, and we're pinching thumb and middle. Then index lift up, so we got a three returned on the B. So it's then index on there. So that first half bar is then pinky whilst leaving the bar there, playing six on the thinner string, pinching middle and ring. I'll do it again. 
then going back to index on the three, then move the pinky down to five. So I'll do that bar for you again. Then I want you to pinch that, so leave the ring there, so we've got a three and a five, pinching, thumb on the D string, ring, and I'd like you to slide that down. You can see there's a slide there in the tab, um, which is a little uh, forward slash symbol, and it's going from five to three to, um, to two to two to three. So we're just gonna keep the pressure down, and that's the slide you're gonna be doing. Okay, when you get there, Lift everything up, index finger to the first fret on the thinnest string, middle finger to the second fret of the G string, pinching by the way with thumb and ring here. Then I like to use ring and pinky, you could bar it if you wanted to but I prefer not to, thumb and middle on those strings. And then index and middle to make like an A minor 7 shape. Okay, so let's do that bar again, starting from the pinch slide. So we're gonna be. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it on from the bar before where we were barring on the third fret and ring finger was on the fifth fret, so. Okay. And now I'm going to glue it onto all of the new stuff, okay? So, um, so with the thumb over, the first part that I taught you, here we go. Okay, very good. So. We're now going to be going to third fret on the middle strings, the D and G. I just use my middle and ring finger, pinch, then middle finger on the third fret, index on the second fret on the G, so it's like this. Then we're going to be pinching this, so that's thumb and middle finger, thumb and index finger, pinch that and flick to an open A string. And then picking two, zero, two, three. Okay, so let's do that bar. Now you can see why this video is a three-parter, right? <laughs> okay, so that bar is third fret, middle strings. Okay, we're then gonna go to an F major seven shape, first, second, and third on the B, D, and G string. Pinch that with the relevant fingers, the, the strings you're holding down. Then index in that chord, then thumb, index. Then I like to use pinky on the third, and then slide it up to four. So it's okay, right. So I'm going to do the bar beforehand with these threes and join it into that new bar. I do think it's important to keep reiterating this so that you, you do have uh, the right fingers and you understand the changes. So here we go. minor chord now, pinching thumb on the D string, ring finger on the bottom string, index middle, pinching index and ring, do that again, and then lifting everything up, index finger to the first fret, pinching on the D and the ring finger, then second and third fret back like we had before from the F major 7, then Index finger on the first fret on the B, ring finger on the third fret on the thicker string. Middle finger is hovering, getting ready to go for the second fret on the D. So we go. Then barring the third fret and then picking out the E, D, and B string, then E, D. So it's E, D, then lift up. Okay, so now let's put those bars together, those three bars. So we're going to be starting from this F major 7 shape. A minor shape. Then, C chord, okay? Hope you're following me here. We are at bar 39. No, 49. So, 
index and ring, okay? Pinching, thumb and middle, pinky down to make the third fret on the thinner string. So it's then index, so it's like a C, but we're not using the middle finger. So it's index, ring, then put down the middle on the second fret on the G string. Play that and then ring on that third fret. So it's, oops. Then move the ring down to the third fret on the G, on the D string, pinching, and then putting that pinky back on the three. A minor seven shape, pinching that thumb and middle, then pinky on the three, and then I just leave the pinky there, bring the ring on top, pinching D string and B string this time with the middle. Okay, so let's do that bar. Okay, good. Well, now we have to do a little bit of a uh, fret movement. Uh, Jack Deep has done a, a, a slide from three to seven on the A string on the bass note. I don't do that. I prefer just to use the ring finger here. Uh, so we're gonna play this ring finger, pinching thumb and um, bottom string. And then we're gonna go pinky on the three. Then I like to lead with the pinky up to the eighth fret as quickly as you can. Once you get there, put your middle finger on the second fret on on the seventh fret, sorry, on the A string, and ring finger. Leave it here on the thinnest string on the seventh fret. And I want you to pinch thumb and ring, and then flick away with your pinky to reveal to the seven. So if that's not in place, you're not going to be able to get this bit right. But there is a pull off there that's been written, and that's what we need to uh, play. In fact, actually, it says a hammer on, but he means a pull off. Okay, so I'm going to do that part again. So it's so that will take a bit of practice, especially sliding. To slide, look at the seventh fret. That's my best best advice I can give you. While you're doing this, look at the seventh fret. Okay, we're then going to do a bar on the third fret, like we did earlier, on the bottom four strings. Ring finger on the fifth fret. Pinching, thumb on the D, ring finger on the thinnest string, and flicking away. Okay. Then first fret on the thinnest string, open, then zero, three, um, zero on the G string, three on the B string, pinching that, then three, one on the bottom string, then three. Okay, so let's just do that bar now with the slide. Okay, and then this bar is identical to what we did the bar before. So making your C chord, I'll play it through slowly. Pinky on the third fret. And then it's the same thing, okay? So we're going... I'm using a different lead finger that time. Doesn't really matter, you don't have to do that. Barring, same thing again, so we're just repeating that section. And then last new, main new bit for today, index finger on the first fret on the G string, pinching thumb and ring, then first fret on the B, then open, then four, so he's returning to the theme here, it's a really clever way of doing it. Then lift up. And I'm just playing the B and E, hopefully you can see that on this hand, so please keep, keep an eye on that. Keep counting how many we're doing. And then we're back into the bit that you already know, alright? So that's quite a clever join that he's doing there, really genius stuff. So. Um, I'm going to go from this first fret on the B string. In fact, no, I'll go from the, the initial slide up. So we're going to be... Lift up, put 
down, lift up, put down, lift up, put down, lift up, leave down, leave down, leave down. And then we're into the bit that you know really, really well, okay? So we're then into, which we learned in the first video. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Remember, if this video gets 50 likes, then I'll record a part three so that we do have the full song at that point. Don't forget also that the tab is in the video description so you can click on that. That's what I base my lesson on. I have made a few little changes in places just to make it a little bit easier. Um, I upload new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so please subscribe to my channel. And I've also included a link to my website where there are over 150 free lessons. This lesson was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. Keep on playing. Have a great day. See you soon.